What is going on guys? Today we're looking at the best meta 500k team you can make in the Prem. Now in terms of prices, 500k is not a lot. So we'll ramp up the prices. Let me know down below if there's any specific budget you'd like to see. A million, two million. Obviously it will depend on who you've got out of SBCs. But I feel like 500k is not a lot. Some players in general that we've got in terms of kind of extra nominees. We've obviously got Dudek. You could also throw in Edison in here as well. You've got Romero, Thunderstruck, Elliot as a future star, Bruno's in form, Gomez, Thunderstruck, a cheeky little Isaac if you're looking for a very cheap price striker. And then we've also got any version of the versus Gakpo. So if we are going into the team, the first name on this sheet is an easy one, to be honest. We'll go into him as the Brazilian 89 Allison. Now, in terms of golds, I personally use Courtois, so I know full well that golds are still available in the game to use and be absolutely fine. If you've got yourself a keeper that is an icon, a Van der Sar, for instance, then obviously that will work as well. But Allison is still very good, and you could even throw in a lovely Edison. We have got on the left back role, we've got our boy, if I can find him, he will be right back to start with, but he can play both in Winter Wildcard Lamperty. Again, if you're looking for the upgrade, the Future Star is much better as well, but if you are looking for the cheaper options that we are trying to keep the price down a little bit, Lamperty is definitely not a bad shout. He's got himself the long ball throw in, which it's not going to give you loads, to be honest, but versatility from left and right back, decent dribbling stats, which is always good. He is kind of that bog standard left back, right back at the moment, but he will definitely get the job done. And an easy one going next to him. I feel like no one has any qualms with this. Gold Virgil. He is the, well, he's probably the most efficient and effective centre-back you can get as well for the price. He is just absolutely broken. I don't think stats even matter for him. He's currently played 770 games for me. He's just broken as ever. And we have done a little bit of a sneaky because you can still do it at the moment. We have gone for a evolution card at the moment because we did get the Future Stars Academy and we're going for Bayer. So he does go up a considerable rating. He is not the only one that is going to be there as well. We've obviously got this beautiful right back and then also we have got the center mid if he's going to be here. I'm hoping he is as Skip. This is going to offer you three different zero coin transfer cards and it's going to be perfect if you are grinding out your first team or at least just trying to grind out a very bug standard team. They both or all three of them go up into good ratings. Obviously, if you use these two right back and center backs, that would be both of the defenders gone and then one midfielder you could use. There is obviously plenty of others that you can go for in terms of Premier League. So if obviously you go into your... What was it? The in in progress evolutions? No, nope, not that one. We have got we've got a something here. I don't know where it's actually is. Is it that one? Oh, is it? We only got that one left. Oh, so there was no Premier League strikers. I'm assuming that's right. Okay, maybe, yeah. So it looks like we've only got one other option. If you wanted to go for Sergio Gomez instead, that could be an option if you wanted Lamperty on the right. I personally like the Burnley right back a little bit better. Then in the middle next to Skip, it's an easy option for this one. A little bit more of a cost, but he is absolutely brilliant. He's Portuguese, he's a team of the year honourable, and it is Bernardo Silva. The team of the year honourable is fantastic. He's got the incisive pass and technical, very, very cheap, which is always nice. Very much more of the attacking side, hence why we've gone for Skip as more of the defensive side of him. We've got the incisive pass, the technical. He's got pinged pass, long ball, tiki taka, Travella, Rele and flair already and I think in terms of an option for how much he comes in at is absolutely worth every penny he is going to be one of the more expensive players we go for but he is just brilliant if we then want to bring the price down it's an easy one again we're going for Croatian left mid here again another option that was there for quite a while to be fair it's going to be if I can find him our boy Perisic Lovely card. He is obviously a radioactive, so gets the chemistry links, but in a Prem team, it's not really that much of a deal, to be honest. But a four-star, five-star has the ability for left wing and left mid, so if you wanted to change formation, then you've obviously got that in him as well. But I think for what you're paying for this card, he is really not that bad whatsoever. He just is... A lovely cheap option. He's not necessarily going to be number one. He's got the aerial, which again, depending on what you want. If you get him into the box, that's always going to be a nice one because he is what? Six, 
six one, so a decent height in himself. He's currently coming in at twenty four and a half thousand coins. Like I said, this is not a squad that is meant for end game because five hundred k really doesn't go that far nowadays, especially when like mid tier future stars are going for about five hundred. Literally, it is absolutely nothing. So we've kind of pulled in all the stops. We've obviously gone for a Liverpool legend in this spot as well. It's always, always got to be the Egyptian king himself in Mohamed Salah. Unfortunately, it is only going to have to be his gold for this one, purely on the factor of price. Currently coming in at 30,000, and I still think you could get a decent amount out of him, to be honest. I don't think he's completely washed. Like I said, it all depends on your team at the moment. This is just purely based on a very cheap team if you're going for it. We've got the 89 pace, the 88 dribbling, the finesse shot plus if you really wanted it from the outside. And what we've kind of tried to do is keep a solid keeper in net. They're normally not expensive, so that's always good. The defensive line, I think, is not bad. Gold Virgil is always the cheat code in any Premier League team. As well then, keeping the cost down with the in-progress evolutions. I do think they are worth it if you are either brand new to the game or obviously haven't really kind of grinded out any evolutions. I think they are absolutely perfect. Lamperty, decent. You can obviously choose different ones. Robertson's there. You obviously got a Zinchenko. I don't think Cancelo's really even there anymore. And if not, he's going to be inflated because he's changed team. Then we've obviously gone for the mid. We've gone for more of a CDM and a center mid. So, or at least an attacking mid at the very minimum. It's how I personally like to do it. And then the wingers, to be honest, pace-wise, very good. Shooting, both of them have got a decent amount. And dribbling and passing, again, is on the forefront for them. So the question is, who are we going in for the strikers? Now, we've got a lot of options you can go for. The first one is going to be a more of a newer one. We have obviously got the Wolf Striker in Inform Cunha. So he was available as this. Uh, I don't know why his Inform is not there, but we are. Oh, I think he's a center forward. So if we go to the proper version, I think he starts as a center forward, hence why he's not there straight away. Um, so his Inform, because you did have the ability for the very first season, but if you're not there, try and be inclusive. You've obviously got yourself a four-star, four-star striker. High, high work rates, which you'd always like the high, low, but it still works. Can go left mid if you really wanted to. Currently coming in at a very reasonable price of about 28 and a half, which is always nice. Stat-wise, I, I absolutely loved him. I thought he was a great card. Physicality's decent enough. Dribbling's there. Passing, good enough. Shooting, fantastic, especially if you wanted the Hunter. Back when he did come out, the Traveller Plus was a lot more broken than what it is now, but it still absolutely works if you are in and around the box. Rapid flare, pinged pass, uh, power shot and also chip shot are absolutely good as well now we've got the final one that we've spent a little bit more on because i think when it comes to strikers you are wanting a little bit more of a unit you don't want to necessarily go all out cheap on strikers so i try and keep the two positions i think cunha for the price is absolutely brilliant and the final one i've gone for is a brand new future star in manchester united's 89 Hoyland. I was debating going for the dynasties or dynasties, but this card, power shot, first touch. He's got himself the 4-4. He is left-footed, so it gives you the difference between a right and left-footed striker. He is obviously very good on the pace and shooting. Dribbling's all there. Passing's decent enough. Great short game on him, and he does have a decent amount of physicality. I think he's an absolute wonderful striker. He's going to get you goals, and I think that is a very, very balanced team for 495,000 as of right now. Let me know who you'd change.